Welcome back to Almost Outdoors. Usually we have RV tips and kind of how-tos with certain things like that, but if you're going RVing and you have a golf cart and you want to take along, I'm going to show you how to load it with a six and a half foot bed and make it secure and stable and, and have a little, little bit of confidence going down the road. So come on in, I'll show you what we did, what we made. So what we got is, we got a three quarter inch plywood going the length of the bed, okay? Another piece of three quarter inch plywood, only about yay big however big yay is, that's how big yay is. And then underneath it here, if you can see from the side, so you got your three quarter inch plywood, this is all pressure treated. Three quarter inch plywood that runs the length of the bed. You have a two by eight, another two by eight pressure treated, a sliver, which is about yay big, of two before, and a, another two before underneath. So your two before down here is essentially right over the frame that comes out and holds your bumper part of the frames connect to the frame so you have your two before down here a little sliver to kind of add it which you could always add another three uh, piece of three uh, three quarter inch plywood on the top um, and then on the back I have another two by eight just because my ramps once I get it on there the tire sets on top of the ramp and it's hard to get the ramp out so I added this on the back once you get all that assembled and you kind of screw it together and everything make sure it's all nice and level it should be nice and snug it should be snug up against the part of your bed drill a hole up there and attach your straps to your D-rings. That way it doesn't slide out on you as you're loading. It's pulling it out. And then that's all going to be nice and snug and we're going to put our ramps on and I'll show you how we're, we're going to strap those down to make this pretty secure. So as you can see for this ramp, it only has two little lips on the back that can hit the two bay. So before, before we had this, before we had that 2 by 8 there, we were pushing it the whole way up and the tire was sitting right on top of that lip of the ramp. So we don't want that. That's why we added this on the back to push it back. And that way we can just squeeze it right off from underneath that tire and all that weight sitting right where that frame connects to the bumper. And essentially with your 3 quarters plywood running the length of the bed, you're distributing your weight evenly. So we'll get the other ramp on, we'll get them strapped down. All right, so when connecting your straps, you want to make sure that you're, again, hooked into the frame and then hooked to the bottom of your ramp after the, where it folds. You don't want to do it on the fold, obviously. You want to do it after the fold. Make sure when you're ratcheting it down, you pull that strap first and you start ratcheting it, pulling and compressing everything that way. That way, when you, the golf cart goes up the ramp, it doesn't sling anything out, and then you end up on the ground or in the hospital. So we're going to connect the one end to the frame, like so. Hold on to that and make sure it doesn't fall off the frame. Connect it back over to that one. Pull that strap. And watch how that it goes up a little bit when we start compressing that in. So that right there is a secure ramp. That's as good as it's gonna get. You can't get any better. The only thing that could you could possibly do would be to connect these together or brace them somehow with a piece of metal. I think it's pretty good. Let's load this baby up. Right. And that's how you load it up on the truck. Now, you gotta make sure everything's strapped down so the best way you know how to get out of this thing and get to the ground without falling, do that. I'll show you my way. Don't do this. Don't tie this at all. All right, so we're going to come to the back here. See how before this 2 by 8 was on the rear, the ramps, it would have been setting directly on the ramp. It's a little bit on the ramp right now, but we can actually wiggle that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my rear strap first before I take this ramp out. I got my brake set but I still don't want it to go anywhere. So I'm gonna strap my tire down in the rear for extra safety precaution, and then I'm gonna use those straps that I put the ramps to 
for the frame and the D rings inside the truck and inside the bed of the truck. So I went to Harbor Freight and got a 3,000 pound load limit strap. I'm going to attach it to the inside of the bed, put it around the middle slash top of the tire, run it all the way over to your ratchet. This is kind of like your last line of defense on safety, hooking this thing up. Because I'm going to have two other straps going from the frame of the golf cart, like I said, to the front D-rings, pulling the weight forward and down. I'd say that looks kind of alright. I'm going to give her a... So the camera actually overheated on us, so we had to stop videoing uh, my father-in-law, who was my cameraman at the time, he has since left. So everything's loaded. She's loaded on the back there. Uh, like I was saying about the ramp, all you kind of had to do was unstrap that, use the strap, the same strap that you hooked the frame and the, and the uh, ramp to, underneath of the frame of the golf cart and to the D-ring, that one right there. All right, I strapped my seat down because these seats are not hinged. They can actually come up and fly off. So just, just a light little light bit of pressure. You don't have to have a whole ton of pressure on that seat, just enough to hold it down. Um, got a couple bungees around my front windshield. I'm also going to strap that and take the strap where the ratchet is and put it around the steering wheel. That way the uh, ratchet doesn't bang off the uh, tinted plexiglass windshield. Brake is set. Make sure everything is out of your uh, cart. And then we got our ramps under here. Just got a strap running around those. Everything fit nice and snug. And we are ready to roll down the road. The only thing that I have a little bit concerned with is this. Um, so I may end up taking this piece off. It should clear that because I did my pivot point, which is my hitch under here. Pivot point to there. Uh, should be fine, but just as a safety precaution, I will take this step off. Everything else should be nice and clear. Uh, if I'm in a pickle like that, you know, where I got to turn the thing 90 some degrees, then I probably shouldn't be in that area. <laughs> so we're getting ready to go to the beach. Um, you'll probably see more video at the beach. Uh, we put some underglow lights on the golf cart, so I'll be showing you that while we're there. I never really did show you my new truck. But there's a peak of it. It's a uh, 2500 Ram. So. Yeah, that's my way of safely loading a golf cart if you have a six and a half foot bed. You'll be fine. Um, a lot of people don't like eight foot beds. I should have got one, but at the same time, you know, are you really going to use all that eight foot bed all the time? No, I don't want to drive a land yacht around, so we opted out for the six and a half foot. So there's my baby in the back of my other baby. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. We'll be making more videos. Uh, the golf cart and camping. Uh, camping season has officially started. They have lifted a lot of the uh, uh, crap, uh, the quarantine crap that we've been, uh, everyone's been dealing with. So, y'all stay safe. Thanks for watching Almost Outdoors. See ya!